think we're gonna use Hmm. I'm thinking after the last couple episodes, I'm tired of cleaning up a mess. I'm done with messy things. So, what kind of thing do we open? Maybe something super? Like a super thing? Let's see what we can do. I got it. Super things? Rivals of Kaboom? I like things. I like super. And I like things that go boom. I have no idea what's going on here. The only way to find out, I say, let's open them up. Bob Disease Toy Box, I'm Z, this is Cornelius, and today we're bringing you Super Things by Goliath Toy. And I, Super Things sound so vague. It could be anything, but no, these are literally called Super Things. They are, I don't know what. It's a plethora of inanimate objects uh, with capes and masks. So why not? So there's a lot of these things. You can get little figure packs, you can get vehicles. I think there's even like some bases and stuff. But I got the two like comes with the most stuff packs, including some sort of launcher. So maybe that's the kaboom aspect. So uh, let's just start opening. Oh, it's got a little like comic little superhero background. What? Okay, I hope we didn't need that. So each pack has four figures. Two that you can see. We got some sort of super orange and a little super picky bank. Or he maybe it's the villain. They're a little squishy and they have little holes in the bottom like pencil toppers. Is, is that still a thing? Do kids still put little toys on their over their erasers never made much sense because now you have rendered your eraser obsolete um and then it comes with two little bases which i gotta say they both different yes one's like a little building and one's like a safe ball so clearly again we have like the superhero and the super villain the molding is pretty impressive each piece is only two colors but pretty nice and okay there's a little door and a little lever. Oh, we can launch them. All right, let's open up. Okay, let's not. Oh. It's not a swinging door, it's a sliding door. We could have been here for a while. All right, there's a red plastic bag. It seems to be some sort of blue carrot man. All right, and we'll slide the door this time. Ooh, a world conquering chili pepper friend. And let's open up the other pack right away and then we'll get to the kaboom part, hopefully. Oh. Have to readjust the camera after you throw things at it. So this one we have, I mean, that's like an evil safe. I don't know what this one's supposed to be. I think you're Captain Sparky. Oh, wait. Silvers are rare. Coin, he's a bad guy. That's super rare, and this guy was super rare. All right, let's see what's inside the forest. Again, some sort of like superhero HQ and some sort of villain layer. I don't want to live there, except for the broken windows in the back. Oh. It's a bottle opener. When needed, this could be a superhero. Very happy tomato. So it looks like we got Spice Bandit, Mega Veg, Teammate, Mr. C, the orange. Oh, and lock down the safe. I get it. Oh wait, what was the bottle opener? Mad Pop, okay. So now, there were officially no directions. Um, I'm not sure if this is a game. With each of the launchers, we got like a hero and a villain, Zap and Bam. And each one comes with discs, a green smack, a red kapow, and a yellow swoosh. Um, but what do? I don't know. Let's put one in and see what happens. Ow! What was that? Okay, bye. So it looks like you just kind of push in the front and then squeeze. 
Uh, good God. That only stopped because it hit the wall across the studio. If there was no wall, I don't know how far that would have went. I gotta try and aim. Okay, a lot of force. Safety warning. Small hard plastic discs launching at about 90 miles per hour. Um, please be safe. Aim low. Now, as for the bases, it does appear each one of the roof has a little lever, which I can only deduce without directions that it's for some sort of destruction. Yes, I, I do believe it's just a catapult. Oh, okay, okay, and again, farewell. It wouldn't be a full review if we didn't try both launchers. Okay, no damage done. Dear God. So apparently this is the only way the blister packs to get the launchers. They make 80 of the little figurines, and then there's eight different hideouts, and apparently there's even four cars. Um, I can only imagine the destruction brought on by those. I gotta say, um, overall, these are pretty cool. So I can imagine once you get enough to build some armies, you could even set up like the good guy teams versus bad guy teams, and then go to town. This could be a lot of fun. And by fun, I mean just little pieces of rubber slash plastic um, exploding in all directions. These are fairly disturbing when looked at closer, but still fun. Disturbing, yet fun. Just one more tagline or t-shirt for this show. Wait, did it go straight up? Oop, go straight down. Anyway, I also feel like I need safety goggles and possibly a helmet. I mean, that's me every day, whether there's blast or not. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in this week, and make sure you tune in next week for more random finds, random mysteries, and who knows what else. I mean, we went with less mess, but slightly more destruction. Uh, both are really okay with me. Thanks again, and make sure, if you get a chance, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. And we will see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye. Yeah. Okay, I really need to stop before there's no action figures left standing. Okay, bye. And here we have the super thing bunch. You know, they're things and they're 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 super. I mean, it took me a while to find them after exploding them all over the place. I still haven't found all the discs yet. But that's why they're called Rivals of Kaboom. I shall rival the Kaboom. <laughs>